Trini Girl Natural. Hi everyone, welcome to my channel, my shower and my wash day. So, I don't know, I'm just trying to see how it will go. It's not really a demo or tutorial, it's kind of like a vlog. And yeah, I just wanted to come on and show you a wash day with some of my favorite products. Some of them are even no longer available, so I'm not going to do a review or anything. I'm just going to show you how they work and just, you know, send them off in peace, I guess. Thank you for your great service kind of thing. I'll miss you. Bye forever to some of my favorite products. Life of a PJ, the PJ cycle. I feel like there should be some real poetic phrase for this. Maybe I'll come up with it later. But yeah, saying goodbye to the She Scented Banana Brulee. I'm also saying goodbye to the Sweet Soul Magic Gel as well in the styling segment, which we'll get to if I stop talking and start washing my hair. So you're probably gonna hear some dripping draining because my shower takes forever to just finish drip after I turn it off. So I'm gonna see how that comes out and see if you can hear me in focus, but just trying something new. And hopefully the little water drips are kind of ASMR and relaxing. Hopefully. We'll see. But wash day. This is the She Scented Banana Brulee. And this is the one that I've been talking about loving in a lot of videos. I'll probably link <laughs> I'll probably link one so you can see. This was the first DC that made me go like, ah, wow. Like, you know, because my hair was just so crazy moisturized and hydrated and everything. I've been saving this because she doesn't sell it anymore. This is my last one and it's time for it to go, I think. So I'm going to try it on now and just show you what it felt like, what it feels like, what it looks like. Have a great wash day. Smells great. It's really similar to the rich moisture mask, but just I think I prefer this one to the rich moisture. Yeah, it's giving me life already. <laughs> the instructions even say apply to wet hair, but I like to apply products to wet hair anyway because I'm low porosity, so it absorbs better. Even deep conditioner, shampoo, everything. Mm, feels like everything still. Still love it. Alright. Still doing it. Oh my gosh. I have begged her to start back selling this, but she said something like um, she doesn't get the ingredients anymore. I'm talking to you, I just put it on, slip is real, moisture is real, the love is real. <laughs> so this is how it is after working it in, my hair just feels juicy and moisturized and amazing. And I haven't let it sit yet, so I'm about to go let it sit for 30 minutes. Yes, I usually have to get out of the shower and come back in. So, I'm gonna let it sit. But loving it. My hair is loving it. We are loving. See ya in a bit. Okay, so this is my hair after letting it sit. My very last jar. I don't think I need to say anything. Do I look at my hair? Please bring it back. Please, please, please. Please. I love it. I will miss it terribly. <sighs> Emotional, but I really hope one day she brings it back. Let me introduce my stylers. So, here we have the Sotanicals Frizz Wiz, which I do love, and I want to say it's currently my favorite of all time. I do have some showdown videos coming up for you, it's representing today as my favorite leave in. <laughs> and this one is the Sweet Memory, <laughs> the Sweet Soul Magic Curl Stimulator Gel. So I really loved this gel, oh my gosh. I have like several, but this is like my last one. So I decided like I'm gonna go in and use all my favorites that I just have there. I can't make it into a museum, I should use it eventually. But I love it, my hair is just moisturized, just soft, just really light and fluffy and defined and amazing. It's kind of similar to the Camille Rose Curl Maker, but like even better, like even more definition and I think probably even lighter in area. I just love how 
much moisture and slip it has plus it smells great so that's like the main thing I love about it but in terms of all around combo of moisture definition slip scent I love this one of course it's a pretty natural gel it just feels velvety no it just feels super soft <laughs> and you can see as it goes on that you know it's doing the gel thing Any combination is good as long as the ingredients are good for the most part. So I'm not worried about it. Doing my work here. So I'm back with the last section. It turned out that the leave-in and the gel are having a sort of strange reaction together. They're foaming. And I've seen that before. I'll also link the video so you guys won't think I'm crazy, but it happens. I don't think it's anything to panic about and I think it'll be fine once it dries but do not be alarmed. <laughs> Let's continue. Oh look at this now. Isn't that awesome? Anyways, rinsing it out <laughs> and apply my styling products. This is after rinsing the deep conditioner. I'm gonna add my leave in. This is what to leave in. Now I'm gonna add gel. Little goes a long way as you can see. So loving it. I'm happy to be able to get a few more uses out of it. It doesn't weigh my hair down. I get light fluffy big hair as I like, but it's still really defined. So So this is it, <laughs> and we will see what happens when it dries. Well, I'm expecting good things. <laughs> so this is it, this is the result. Happy hair week for Shuzi. <laughs> okay, happy hair week for sure. <laughs> I'm loving it. My happy wash day, my greatest of all time wash day. I hope you had fun watching. See you in the next one. <laughs> Bye.